This video is sponsored by Pokedownstore.com, the place for all your Pokemon TCG online needs. If you're looking for the new Rebel Clash booster packs, they also have those on stock, so definitely check them out, Pokedownstore.com. Also, if you use the coupon code ZAPDOSTCG, you get 5% of your next order. How cool is that? What's up YouTube, it's ZapDoysTCG here and welcome back to our TCG battle video on my channel. Today we're gonna be playing with Flapple and Friends, that's what we're gonna call it. This is a deck that I actually came across during the uh, live stream I did uh, last week. That was actually the uh, qualifier number 3, I actually got 21st out of 1148 people or something. So it was a huge event, it went pretty well and uh, yeah, I actually came across this deck because I actually was uh, battling some of my subscribers during the live stream, which was awesome. So that's why we're checking out today. So Flapple, we have Apple Drop. It reminds us of the Sigiwai, we can drop two damage counters wherever we want on the opponent's side of the field. And if we place any damage counters, we have to shuffle this Pokemon and all cards attached to it back into the deck. So we can keep reusing it infinitely. We have the new Stadium card in the form of Turfield Stadium. And let's of course uh, uh, get ourselves the Evolution Grass type from the deck immediately so you can get yourself Flapple. There's a 4-4 line in here. The Apple is a little bit on the low HP. So against things like Dragapult, you're gonna have a, a hard time, I guess. Although. On the other hand, if you go first and you get some damage counters around, you don't need a lot to just one shot with Crazy Claws of Sableyes. This actually this is out uh, 10 damage plus 60 more for every damage counter on the opponent's active Pokemon. So that could work out as well. We have Galarian Zigzagoon at, in combination with 3 Scoop Up Nets. Scoop Up Net can also get, of course, Jirachi out of the active position. We also have a lot of dolls to work with, which is awesome. So what we're going to try and do is uh, keep using Flapple, uh, dropping some damage counters around, using Sableye. We even have one copy of Bead in our deck to just accelerate out of nowhere when the opponent least expects it. We always have pivots in the form of uh, yeah, Lily's Pokédoll, so we always promote that. Or you just promote Jirachi with an escape board, it's fine. You can get yourself lots of ball engine cards. We have Quick Ball, we have uh, Great Ball, we even have Net Ball to find our little Applin. So it's gonna be fantastic to try this out. For supporters, uh, we do have like uh, Research and Marnie, and then two bosses orders should do the trick. Uh, we also have Zacian in here because sometimes when the opponent is uh, out of boss's orders, for instance, uh, you can just have Zacian safely on the bench using the Interpret Sword while you're setting up uh, your Applins to evolve into Flapple. Thanks, of course, to the uh, Turfield Stadium making you can keep drawing those cards infinitely. So hopefully things could go okay. We also have Eveltal if the opponent has exactly four damage counters on it, one hit KO. So even against the biggest of V Maxes, we one shot them. So this is a very interesting deck. We're gonna see how it goes. I was very surprised by this list. Uh, I, I don't know what your name is. If it, uh, I know your name, I'm gonna be putting it in the uh, yeah, description. But for now, we're just gonna just say, one of my subscribers gave me this list and we're gonna try it out. The only thing I changed is adding in one bead. He actually got a, a third grade ball, I think. Let's go with the flow and uh, here we have it. We're probably up against Baby Blounce, which is not a good matchup, I think, because they have like way too much HP. And uh, they can uptrade on Sableye and all that, but we'll see how it goes. Maybe we can punish them if they play a lot of Jirachis and they don't know what we're up against. If they don't know what they're up against, that could help. We'll see how it goes. We also have lots of dolls, so if they don't run, um, yeah, they're um, let's say what can they not run? Great catcher, yeah. You don't want to see that. <laughs> Maybe your Evelta will not be safe, but we'll see how it goes. So we already have a Jirachi, we have a doll, we have a research. So going second is not too bad in this instance. If we would have gotten first, it would have not mattered at all. So we can safely use Sableye and... Oh, there's a Zacian in the active position. That's a little bit scary for the opponent. If he doesn't get it out of the active, it could actually uh, get some damage counters and then Sableye could scratch it for death. Okay, there's Great Ball. Okay, this is a Chinchino Mill archetype. Interesting. That is very interesting. We'll see how it goes. Uh, we can attach we've, because we're probably gonna be using research. We're do, we don't need Poké Dolls uh, now that I think about it. This is a mill archetype, uh, so we're gonna have to go, be quicker. Hopefully, he whiffs on something like Air Balloon, so we can one shot the Zacian with the damage counters being spread around. Although I should probably go after the Dross uh, engine instead with our Applins. We'll see how it goes. Anyhow, we have one of these. We're gonna quick ball the research. And we're gonna get ourselves. Yeah, we also have Zigzagoons, which you can now always spam, but we need a lots of Applins so we can drop damage counters around. I don't know if we're gonna be able to win, but we're gonna try our best. This is a mill archetype. I don't know if we have a good matchup against that. We keep shuffling ourselves back in the deck, so at least we have that going for us. Uh, another Netball, another Applin. 
I think I will just drop all the applins and then keep reshuffling them. Yeah, it seems like a good idea. We have a communication. Okay. Communication is good to get ourselves... We could get another applin and then research and then spread tons and tons of damage around. That could be the case, but using lots of research in this scenario is probably not a good idea. So we're just gonna leave it as it is. For now. Yeah, we could also use Interpreter, but <laughs> drawing cards against Mill is not what you want to do. Okay, what do we need to do here? We already like used one research, which is not good. So against Mill, I don't think this is a good uh, place to go. We do have Loot Search, so we can uh, get trainer cards from the discard pile back. Let's say like Ordinary Rod, so we can just switch to Sableye and keep using that. And that means we are able to uh, get Ordinary Rod back turn after turn and uh, just make sure that we don't activate his lieutenant search that could be an option okay there's one heads which is annoying could have gotten back things like netball yeah we probably should have gone with that strategy yeah make do if we get two of these out yeah we're not going to be able to use crazy claws anyhow which is unfortunate there's air balloon yeah that mew will go down rather nicely he switches to his mew and he uses Interpret Sword, okay. I wonder what we should do. So we have the Stadium right here, which can search uh, the stuff out, the Flapples. And since he's uh, back in the bench, there's no use for using that scenario. So <laughs> let's see how we're able to fix this matchup. So we'll use this. We're gonna go for Communication. Getting rid of this. Uh, flapples. Now we have two flapples. They can shuffle themselves back in the deck if need be. We also have bosses orders, by the way. So, hmm. Stellar wish. We have a Marnie. Well, that Marnie is uh, very welcome. Yeah. We can switch to a doll. Not needed. So, we're just gonna Marnie. Not gonna go intensely uh, with the scenario. Putting the opponent to a low hand size. Is fine by me. We're gonna give one energy to the Sableye so we can, uh, yeah, we can actually use the escape board. We're gonna retreat to the Sableye and the Sableye can get back a lot of stuff to be honest. So, yeah, we can get put one trainer card back. So, we're gonna use the Apple Drops, two damage counters. Yeah, I'm gonna target down the Chinchinos for now. Now, we're not gonna try and activate the Lieutenant Surge. And just keep using these fellas and just sniping them and um, going back in the deck. Followed it up by a loot search. Getting ourselves... Yeah, we have infinite supply of Marnies at this point, which is awesome. Yeah, let's just get the netballs to get the apples back. <laughs> this is gonna be fantastic. So, what we're gonna try and do in this scenario is make sure that the opponent is not doing anything. We do really need to find our ordinary rod though. I should check if it's in there. We're gonna check that with Turfield Stadium very shortly. Is he gonna go on the offensive? What is this? It is capture energy. Okay, that does help with the, the mill archetype. At this stage, we need to use. <laughs> He's gonna go for Palpat again. It's cool. We always get a trainer card back, which is awesome. Here it goes Quick Ball. He doesn't use Faba, so our Jirachi is safe. He's gonna go for Orangaroo. Probably gonna see some more interpret swords. And we're just gonna use their flapples all around and hopefully win with that scenario. Crashing hammer again. That fails. Well, luckily. That means we have access to loot surge again. We just need to make sure we don't activate Lieutenant Surge. I know it might be like a strange scenario to be in. Okay, Lily's Pokedoll being promoted here. Mewtwo in the hand. Yeah, Mewtwo could cause some trouble. But we always like shuffle lots of stuff back. He's getting lots of cards, and there goes the Interpret Sword. <laughs> okay, cool. So, in this scenario, uh, yeah, we need lots of stuff first, so I'm gonna go for Netball. Getting an Apple. Switching to Jirachi again. And now we're gonna Marnie. Ta-da! Yeah, now we really need to check what is in the deck still. Okay, let's get the Flapple. 
is the rod, ordinary rod is in here, fantastic. That's all we needed to know at this point. <laughs> okay, apple. Color wish, communication, okay. Could be good since we already have, yeah, we also have boss's orders by the way. We could take lots of prize cards very shortly. At one point, we're just gonna swoop over with lots of damage around. Communication, could get lots of stuff out. Yeah, we're gonna have to be very quick at this stage in the game. Let's get rid of that. Another apple. Three snipes will be better than one. And we are also gonna, we still have a Marnie left, but we still, we're gonna evolve all of these fellas. So probably gonna go back with the Sableye here. Gonna go for loot search, getting ourselves the netball back. Okay, so our objective is actually sniping its entire board and then taking all the KOs at once. And uh, since we're not activating Lieutenant Search, it's gonna be good. And as soon as we get like uh, loot, uh, an ordinary rod, we can shuffle that back in, get four cards back. Fava? Okay, he gets the Faba back, so our skateboard will go down the drain very quickly. Alright. This is actually a very weird scenario. Okay, just Interpret Sword. Fine. He's probably gonna Faba our uh, Turfield Stadium. Okay. Evolving all of these guys. Okay, now 60 snipe is awesome, so we're gonna use... He can also use Belalba and Bryson Man to actually tin his own stuff. Could happen. Yeah, that could happen actually. We're just gonna spread it all around. Spreading it all around. Okay, at this stage, just gonna go for... Oh, I should have used Great Ball first, to be honest. Oh yeah, Great Ball we can still use... Kim oh yeah, this is also good. Angularian Zigzagoon, we can actually bust that as well. Marnie again! Okay, Boss's Orders could be huge. We can actually KO lots of stuff this time around. We're gonna attach here. We're gonna use Loot Surge. Yeah. And that's gonna be <laughs> another Marnie. Yeah, Marnie is good. We just need to make sure that at one point we just get rid of a lot of stuff. See here, his ordinary rod is not in here. There's stealthy hoods in there. Just gonna go loco Belelba, okay. Make do. Crushing hammer again. It fills. Energy to Orangaroo. It is the capture energy. And then interpret sword. Okay. So, let's get our stuff back. Flapple. We can actually uh, KO the Zation if we want to. But that's gonna activate Lieutenant Search, right? That is gonna be the case. Hmm. Yeah. Let's wait with that. Let's go for Marnie. Whee! Keep on using Marnie. It's fantastic. Could use Zation at this point, we're not gonna do that. Ordinary Rod could get back. Two energies, not that we need that. A 
couple drops. One there. Apple drops. One there. Okay, now it's gonna be tricky because we don't have anything, but we're just gonna have to go for loot search. Doesn't seem to have a huge hand, but with Marnie, you're probably gonna get <laughs> the furthest in this game. Okay, two of these, it's fine. Lily's Poke Doll. Gonna see the Orangaroo popping up. Make do. How much stuff is in there? Crushing hammer? It is heads. Yeah, that's fine. We're gonna shuffle in some stuff later. Blah blah Bryson man. Cool. That means we can now put in back of an apple. What is he gonna get back? Lots of Bilal bus. Alright. At this stage in the game, it's time for some Zigzagoon Madness. One damage counter over there. We're gonna use <laughs> Ordinary Rod. Do both. Apple. Jirachi. Two darkness energies. Scoop up nets. Zigzagoon. Smacking down. Zigzagoon. And let's go for Marnie. Only one apple. Okay. I do have this again. I think. We will have to go for the Ordinary Rot in this scenario. Loot Search. Ordinary Rot. <laughs> this is a slow grind. A really slow grind. If we get rid of like Orangaroo it would be nice. But we'll see what he has first. He has to keep using Belalba, right? Okay, the stadium goes away. That's unfortunate. Make do. Another Orangaroo, okay. If we can get rid of both of them at the same time, it would be awesome. About that. Surge, <laughs> yeah, Surge is not gonna matter, man. Interpret Sword. So, Flapple. Yeah, just gonna go for loot search, getting netball. Although Marnie could be better. Yeah, Marnie could be better. This is the strangest game ever, man. We'll see how it develops. Yorangaru can keep getting stuff back, but I haven't seen any ordinary rock, which is good news. Maybe it's priced. Blubba Bryson man. Okay. One flapple dude going down the drain. What will he be getting back? Palpats? How many palpats in there? Three of them. Yeah, the love balls and Bryson Mans is totally fine. Okay, at this stage, let's do the apple drop on the active. Let's 
using ordinary rot. Do we use it now? Putting more stuff back. We now we just wait. We just wait, Marnie. <laughs> Loot search. Yeah, one net ball. We need to find like lots of these apple dudes so we can do it again. He only discards three <laughs> at one turn and we keep getting everything back thanks to Sableye, so I don't know how long or how long this match is gonna take, but it's ridiculous. Baloba Bryson man, hey, our Eveltal is gone. Palpa. Yeah, we can always like get back a scoop up net, which would be awesome. So he gets three cards back, we only get one card back, so back and forth. Net ball. One apple. Mm, yeah, there's nothing to do here. Loot search. Net ball. <laughs> this is so funny. This is an endless match, folks. I didn't ever want it to be, uh, yeah, happening like that against like GX decks is way better. But this mill deck pops keeps popping up, and he still has to like build up a Bryson man again. Oh wow, he got rid of like a lot of good stuff. How many stuff in there? One apple? Two apple? I think there's one apple price. Okay. Hammers. Okay. A different approach, so it seems. Apple. Drop. Right, we're not gonna KO anything just yet. Loot search. Mm. Not both. <laughs> What's going on, man? His entire bench is swept up with cards. Actually, with damage counters all around. At one point, we really need to start making, but he cannot actually use Lieutenant Search instantly, which is a scary thing. Hammer. Heads. Hammer again. Heads. Okay. Hammer again. Tails. Beloved Bryson, man. Okay, we can get back the ordinary, ordinary rod right now. Three hammers again. This, that. Damage counters, active dude. And yeah. Loot search. Mm, what was the card that we're looking for? Yeah, the ordinary rod. What now? Doesn't seem to have a lot of cards left. Hammer. 
hammer again. Hammer again. It only has four cards left. Okay, that's interesting. Blah blah Bryson man. Oh, our beat supporter's gone. Resource management. Need to get rid of two uh, of the both both orangaroos, I think. Ordinary rot. Okay, he gets that back. That's not good. Slapping this down. Ordinary rot. Do both. We're gonna get back. Apple. Yeah. Apple flapple. Two energies. Loot search. Ordinary rod. How much longer can this take? If you would have gotten Tapu Lele with the damage movers, that would be insane. Palava Bryson, man. Ordinary Rod. Okay, this can keep going on forever. Like in a tournament, people would have already conceded. But this is the way you can battle Mill, I guess. Stalling it out. All these spell pads going around. <laughs> At one point he's gonna be able to get rid of all of our... Okay, just going for Interpret Sword. Cool. Flapple. Apple. Flapple. Damage. Ordinary Rod, do both. Flapple, Apple. Ordinary Rod. <laughs> this is the most endless game ever. How is this going to evolve the game? We still have so many resources left, it's insane. It's gonna go for research management. Gonna go for the crushing hammers, presumably. Three of them. Yeah. Flapple. Damage. Here. Do both. Flapple apple. Two darkness energies. Apple. Apple. Loot search. Ordinary rod, okay. I could keep playing this game, you know? This is the most craziest game we've ever had on the channel, for sure. Crushing Hammer, one tails. He's gonna throw three of them at the same time, you know? Crushing Hammer, yeah. Now it's gonna get intense. Oh, he's getting rid of lots of resources right now. Research management. Oh boy. Imagine, imagine. We can get rid of like both of the Chinchinos at once with the 
both the Chinchinos as well as the Oranguru. Let's do this. Let's do that. Getting the Flapple. Yay! They conceded! Okay! Woo! We could have kept keeping doing this game, getting the cards back, using Ordinary Rod, going in circles. Yeah, we were never gonna give up. Okay, now it's time for a serious game. I know we were at like one half an hour for that game. For the people that are still watching, I'm sorry. <laughs> we, want, we never wanted to give up. Okay, probably gonna be seeing some Dracapult stuff today. Oh yeah, I think it's Dracapult. We won the coin flip, we're gonna go first, we need some setup. Maybe we can just one-shot this uh, Dracapult in the active position. This is a great start. We have Jirachi, we have an escape ball, we have a net ball, we have a third field stadium. Maybe we are also gonna be able to find a supporter. That would be great, like Research or Marnie. Okay, net ball. Let's get our friends up. One. Two. They're gonna go back in the deck anyhow, so it's fine. Hello! How you doing? We're gonna get uh, one of the flapples out. The only thing we need is Eveltal. <laughs> Eveltal and an energy. Stellarish. Okay, Marnie for next turn could be nice. Yeah, it could be nice. We just need to find Eveltal and an energy. It's totally fine. I'm gonna go with this as well. Let's go. He might Marnie us as well. Don't probably not playing Tool Scraper. He could be playing Tool Scraper though. We're gonna wait it out. We still have switches, scoop up nets as well. So we're gonna get two flapples, spread damage on this, and use the Veltal to get him out of the active position. Treasure. He <laughs> getting rid of the giant bombs. Interesting. What are we gonna see? Dracapult V number two. Is he gonna use Marnie? If so, I would have wished we would equipped the data skateboard. Probably gonna see research, right? You're setting up, you need some stuff. Maybe you don't have a supporter in hand. Seeing as you don't start with Jirachi or something. Could be the case. Let's see. Maybe a quick ball for the Dene. Either way, the flapples are gonna move on this fella. Okay, just bite. That's what I thought. He didn't have a supporter in hand. And he also treasured for something else. Okay. Using this. Using that. Using a skateboard. I don't want to use Marnie, so maybe something else could be better. Research, yeah. Research is probably better. I want my Eveltal, Quick Ball Energy, and that's gonna be fantastic. Could have also slapped down Sableye. Oh yeah, here we have it. The Busted Nuts. Okay, Eveltal, it's your turn to shine. Energy there. And seeing as these will pop back in the deck. We're gonna find them with Great Ball again. Apple drop again. <laughs> Look at that, Dragapult getting smacked. This... Flapple. Great Ball. Okay, another apple. Retreat! Eveltal, use your one shot attack. Doom count! Poof. Look at that, Dracapol, get out of my sight. <laughs> Look at that, how, how amazing is that? Okay, save life from the prize cards, that's good. We still had Ordinary Rot. <laughs> well played. Well played. Okay, an energy. Does he have anything left? Treasure? Okay, Dragapult VMAX is gonna pop up. We still need like more energies to go. Well, we can actually use two Flapples to get them back in the deck. So we're safe with that. Uh, maybe smack down something else. Quick Ball. The Dene. Yeah, this guy can actually use Shred for 60 damage. Yeah, we can actually heal a little bit of damage to actually stay alive after his uh, Max Phantom, which is crazy. 
Okay, another one. And we are now in a pickle where we actually need to attach on Sableye. We need to smack down Sableye. Need to find an energy and go from there. Marnie, okay, our Sableye goes down the drain. We still have access to Quick Ball, so it's fine. Here's Quick Ball. We have research, thank you. We could also get the escape board onto the Eveltal if we want to retreat. Shred, 60 damage. Okay, so first of all, gonna go with Flapple. We can never get back the Ditto, so we might as well evolve it. We're gonna Quick Ball. Mm, yeah, all of these cards are so busted. Finding ourselves Sableye, which can one-shot this dude. Give an escape board to that fella. And go for research. Okay, this is scary. <laughs> this little fella can actually get one-shotted. Thanks to the crazy effect of Dracapult V. So our little fella is not safe. Might as well scoop it up. How much damage counters do we need on this guy? Yeah, we do have the energy of the turn here, so that's good. If we smack damage onto him right now, we actually smack 40 damage, which is more than enough for Sableye to finish the job. So we might as well scoop up Net discard while we can. And then next turn we go for a research. Could also have like a zigzagoon, knock this guy out, and then Marnie. How many Marnies in here? One. But if we one shot this, we're probably gonna be winning the game very shortly, right? Absorb! Okay, this guy has 60 damage on him. Sableye can finish him off. We can retreat thanks to his skateboard. We still survive after X Axery after Max Phantom. And he still he already has two giant bombs in the discard pile, so things are looking up. Okay, so this is not good. If he uses Fion, we just promote the doll. It's as simple as that. This is looking better than the than the first game, right? Looking better than the first game. Mr. Mime doesn't allow us to scoop up anymore. Okay, research, that's not Marnie. Oh, I'm so glad he didn't Marnie. Our hand is busted at this point. Cut X well. Third field stadiums are now not being able to put in play. We don't have Marshadow to get rid of it. Okay. What now? Dracapult. Rainbow Rare. Okay, he's in a tough situation. He needs to like attack. And also he's a little bit afraid of uh, the save light right here. So switching around. Okay. Zigzagoon damage counters. On Jirachi. Jirachi is not safe anymore. Okay. At this point, I am sh not afraid anymore of his uh, crazy shenanigans, so might as well overlap that. We also have bosses' orders, right? How many in the discard? Two of them. Okay, that's not gonna work. Netball. Another one. Okay, now we're looking pretty scary. I know. Oh, we are. What we gotta do, what we gotta do. Okay, here we go. Yeah, we can use the attack here. At one point, he will need to come with his attacker, right? Probably doesn't have an energy. That's my first thought process. Yeah, it probably doesn't have an energy. So, we're just gonna go with this. Healing off all the damage. So now we're completely healed off. This guy cannot touch us. And now we can actually use switch and actually destroy him with Sableye. Sableye is going to be in the active position. What is he going to attack with? Sigzagoon. Scoop up net again. On this Evelto. Does he want to one shot it? Research. Okay. He's gonna slap 130 damage onto our Eveltal. Or he's just gonna leave Fionn in the active. These are all so long and weird games. It's fun. It's totally fun. If we find another one of those stadium cards, we would be getting like lots of these guys. 
Either way, it's looking intense. Also, if we can use the KO on the Fion, we only need to knock out one VMAX. Which could help in the long run. So we can knock out Fion, prepare this guy. Yeah, he's just gonna set this guy up. As seen here. Flapple. This guy only smacks 100 damage. Okay, first things we have ordinary rod, which can get back another sable eye. We don't actually need another one. He could go for boss's orders, but there's no way he can spread and all that. So we switch and might as well attach to this guy while we're at it. Research. Okay, now they're all in danger. Flapple, put damage counters on. Hmm, interesting. If we knock out the Fion, that could be helpful. Then he comes with a Dragapult VMAX for sure. Yeah, that could work. But also we have to be afraid. Dragapult, two damage counters right there. Just need to set him up first. Like, two damage counters is... 130, that's not enough. We still need one more. So that's enough damage to one shot this guy. We great ball. Find an apple. We use quick ball. Finding another apple or a ditto. To say the least. Smacking this down. Getting a flapple. Stellar wish as well. <laughs> Another doll that we don't need. Absorb! What now? <laughs> Well, now we have it. We can retreat for one energy. We can start attacking with it. So at this stage, our board looks pretty good. He can still scoop up that one more. I think he has. Yeah, he has two scoop up nets left. Is he gonna go on the offensive? Does he have scoop up nets in the hand? Either way, this this fellow goes down. Max Phantom. Okay, he's gonna get rid of not the Jirachi this time around. Yeah, he's gonna take the Jirachi. Interesting. That means Flapple can win the game. We can one-shot everything. Cool. So, uh, Flapple. <laughs> Alright. We're actually retreating our Eveltal. So, Sableye can clean up. Hitting for weakness. And we're also gonna uh, drop uh, on that Fion. And that's how the deck functions, so even against Dracopole, not even uh, that big of a deal. Playing lots of these weak Pokemon, we get a prize card for that. Thank you. I think we still have Zigzagoon left. I think so. To dish even more damage around. Like 5 damage counters, look at that, that Dracopole will be feeling that. Well played, here it comes. Crazy Cloth, 620 damage. And that's how the deck functions. So I'm glad I was able to showcase it at last. That first match was insane. You can use Sableye and win against Stall, as mentioned. You can win against Dragapult, win against Picaram. Definitely try this deck out for yourself. If you enjoyed the video, be sure to uh, yeah, support the channel by destroying that like button. Subscribe for more content. And I'll be seeing you guys in the next video very shortly. I'm out. Peace.